Okay, good morning and welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm actually going to be doing a correction on the hourglass 3D model that I created earlier this morning. Uh, I made a mistake and I wanted to uh, make a video that uh, showed you the correction. So um, actually we don't need to open up Design Spark. I'll go ahead and just close this. So. I'm going to go ahead and um, open up the actual model. Uh, I made it. I made the uh, mistake in uh, Rhino, so we're going to go ahead and open up the uh, STL file, and then we'll go ahead and say OK to this. We're going to double click this top, and uh, let's go ahead and explode that. And then where I made the mistake was in the glass. I actually got rid of one of the one of the glasses and I needed both of them so let's go ahead and um, hold down the uh, shift key and get both of those now we're going to put a wood texture on these so go ahead and if your materials is, isn't loaded you can come up here at your panels and just make sure that there is a check mark next to materials and it will show up so we want to go ahead and uh, hold down the shift key and get both of those we want to uh, click the plus. We want to import from library. Uh, I want to scroll down to the bottom here. I want to get this wood and then we want to import the African teak polished. So we want to right mouse click and assign to objects and then we want to uh, view this in a render right now so we can see. Okay so where I made the mistake is there's two there's two glasses on this and I actually got rid of the one on the left, which I didn't want to do. So let's just go ahead and colorize the sand. Let's hold down the shift key. Let's go ahead and hit the plus. We just put a uh, paint in there last time. And then we went ahead and colorized it to a kind of a sand color. I guess that would be sand. And then we want to right mouse click and assign to objects. It's kind of a dark sand. Let's make it a little bit lighter. Hold down the shift key. Let's go ahead and uh, click that one. Go to the lighter one. Okay, this is fine. So now on these, what we want to do is go ahead and uh, hit the plus. We want to apply a glass texture. So which I did the first time, but I got rid of one of them. So. Um, what we want to do is actually let's do a custom one. Let's go import from library. Let's go to glass and let's go um, let's put a colored glass in there. Let's do like uh, well let's just make it clear. Okay so clear glass we want to right mouse click assign and then we want to click on this one right mouse click assign now both of these have to get moved back into place. Okay, now you can see where we needed that one because of the reflection. So one of them is the inside of the hourglass, and the other one is the outside of the hourglass. So now what we want to do here is, oh, let's go to colors. Uh, let's go to the uh, rendering. Let's change this background from solid color to a dark color, maybe a dark gray like this. Okay, now we're going to come up here to view and we want to go to uh, ray trace. So we want to give that. I think on the last one I actually did is I, uh, I put a frosted color glass in there. So maybe we can do that this time. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the uh, materials tab. Let's click the plus button, import from library, go to the glass. I added a, uh, a dark blue glass, I think it was. Okay, we'll go right mouse click, assign. Okay, and now we'll do the same on this one. Sign. And now we'll move this one into place. 
Okay. That looks a little bit better. And then we'll go to our um, rendering and change that to the darker color. Maybe not so dark. And maybe a different color. Uh, we don't want gold. How about black? No, we don't want black. Light gray. Yeah, we'll go with light gray. Okay. And then we'll just let it finish rendering. So basically this was the mistake I made was getting rid of the, uh, the second glass. So there was this really bad reflection right here. So this is the corrected file. We can come up here and we can go to change this to perspective view. And we'll have more of a three-dimensional view. We'll, we'll rotate that. This is more of a uh, three-dimensional view. And then we can hit zoom, type in zoom. Actually, I've got zoom in there with the okay, zoom. Here we go. Zoom, and then we'll zoom dynamic, and then we'll click and drag, make it smaller. Okay, now let the ray trace catch up. This is going to be our finished hourglass. I'm not going to go all the way to 1,000. It needs to go to 1,000 ray traces, but this looks pretty good right here. Um, this is at 200, 300. Okay, we'll go ahead and do um, uh, Windows icon Shift 3, and then we'll go ahead and take a picture. Okay, I'll go ahead and go to Paint, click paste and then we'll crop it and then we'll save it as hourglass we'll just save on title desktop save okay that's going to end today's tutorial hopefully you enjoy watching and you got something useful out of this video okay thanks for watching